All right, moving on to the area portion of the perimeter and area uh, using distance formula assignment. Uh, on each of these, remember these two formula here. If it's a triangle, you have to do base times height and then divide by two or times by one half. If it's a rectangle, you use times the base times the height and you have the area. So this little guy here is actually the same rectangle as number one, um, the the uh, the change in the x and the y for both the the sides the pairs of sides here is the same for both and so we can use those numbers that we got there to help us get this one done so we have a side length of 11.2 and 5.1 so I'm going to use that we have 5.1 11.2 Multiply those guys together, and that is your area. So let me do that real quick. And when you do that, you're going to get uh, 57.12. And uh, when you round it to the nearest whole number, and so uh, we're just going to make this one 57. And this is like units squared. Um, I'm not going to write that on all of them, but... Uh, for reference, they're all units squared, because in area, you have squared units. On 6, uh, we have a lovely little shortcut that we can take, being that uh, since that when you're doing base times height on your area, um, that's like the base, you can say, is like the bottom end of your triangle, and the height is just how tall it is, and the one requirement is that they have to meet at a right angle. The height and the base have to meet at a right angle. And luckily, this one already has that. And the base is horizontal. The height is vertical. And so we can just count both of those. It's pretty handy. And so, on the bottom here, I'm just going to count. I'm going to start here and just keep counting as I go right. So I'm looking at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So that side's 11. The height, I'm going to start from the bottom here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13. We need to multiply those guys together. Uh, 11 times 13 is 143. And we have to times it by 1 half. So take that number and divide by 2. And you're going to get... Uh, 71.5, but if you're around to the nearest whole number, you're looking at 72 square units. <laughs> Moving on to 7, uh, we haven't had this rectangle before, and so we have to actually get some side lengths. Luckily, the little right angles let us know it's a rectangle, and so we should need to get that side length, get that side length, multiply it together, and we're all done. So I'm going to get this one up here first. 9, 0 is the rightmost point, so that's going to be my x2, y2. And so 9 minus the 4, square that. 0 minus 7, square that guy. 9 minus 4 is 5, square that, you get 25. 0 minus 7 is 7, square that, you're looking at 49. 25 plus 49 um, is 74. And the square root of 74 is about 8.6. So there's our first length. I'm going to get this next one here. And 9, 0 is again the rightmost point. So that's my x2, y2. I'm looking at 9 minus negative 2. Square that guy. Plus 0 minus negative 7. Square that guy. Um, 9 minus negative 2 is 11. Square that, you get 121. 0 minus negative 7 is 7 squared, that you get 49. And if you add those guys together, you're going to look at uh, about 170. So square root of 170, that is approximately um, 13.0. So we're going to say 13. And so now we have the base, we have the height, we just need to multiply them together. So 8.6 times 13. If you do that in your calculator, you're going to get uh, 11, 111.8, and that's 
when you round to the nearest whole number is 112 units squared. And there's that one. And moving on to 8. Um, luckily, the base and the height meet at a right angle, so we just need to get those two sides. We don't have to get the long one, so don't get the long one. Just get the short ones. Um, I'm going to get the, the height one first, that side there. 6, negative 2 is the rightmost point, so that's going to be my x2, y2. So I'm looking at 6 minus 0 squared plus negative 2 minus 5 squared. 6 minus 0 is 6 squared. That you're looking at 36. Um, negative 2 minus 5 is negative 7 squared. That you'll get 49. Uh, 36 plus 49 is 85. And if you get the approximate square root of that, you're looking at about 9.2. So there's our first link. I'm going to get the bottom one now. 6, negative 2 is still on the right side, so that's our x1, I mean our x2, y2. So 6 minus negative 2. That's x2 minus x1. And negative 2 minus negative 8 is y2 minus y1. 6 minus negative 2 is 8 squared, that you, uh, you have 64. Negative 2 minus negative 8 is negative 2 plus 8, which is 6, and when you square that, you get 36. 64 plus 36 is 100, and the square root of 100 is equal to 10. No approximation in there. So, uh, now we have our two lengths. We just need to multiply them together and divide by 2, and we have the area of our triangle here. So, 9.2 times 10 is going to give you 92 and if you divide that guy by 2 you're going to get uh, 46 and so you're looking at 46 units squared and that is the whole assignment